everyone, I'm Allie with Potomac Beads. Join me in making this forget-me-not bracelet, which we designed actually on Twitch, and you can join in getting the materials at potomacbeads.com, which are listed in the description of the video. So to begin the project, I have a stop bead on some .006 wildfire beading thread, and I'm leaving myself about eight inches to go back and add the clasp after the fact. When I get to the end of the bracelet, I'll go back and add each side. To begin this bracelet, we are going to begin by making our outer loop of our flowers and then add in the pearl in the middle. To begin the outer loop, you're going to add one, two, three of your three millimeter beads. And I have the metallic, the metal turquoise, heavy metal turquoise. And then I'm going to add 115, which is the Duraco galvanized gold and then another three and another 15. I'm gonna repeat this pattern another time for the other side of my flower, adding in three of those three millimeter beads, and then again, a 15, three, and a 15. Let that all drop next to that stop bead and we're gonna round it out in a circle. This is gonna create that little looped pattern section. Go ahead and go through the first three beads, then through the 15, and out through the three millimeter bead that sits on the, so in on the inside of those 15 beads. That's gonna circle us up and gets us in position to add in our six millimeter bead in the middle. The six millimeter bead in the middle that I'm using is the Czech Pearls in the Cream Shiny. And coming out of that 15, or coming out of that three millimeter bead here, right next to the 15 0, I want you to add a 15, then your glass pearl or your six millimeter bead. And then once you add that, add a 15 on the other side. Go to the other side of the loop, going through on the same side of that three millimeter bead that sits across. Again, the three millimeter bead that's in between the two 15 O's. So I'm coming out the left side or the right side and I'm going into the right side of the bead at the bottom. Give a nice tight pull to kind of pop that on top a little bit. Coming out then that other side, go ahead and add another 15. Go back through that same pearl that the thread is coming out of. And once you're through that same pearl and coming out, you're gonna add one more 15. And go back into that first three millimeter bead that your thread was coming out of on the right hand side as well. That gives us our nice little forget me not flower. Here on the exterior then, after we're coming out of that three millimeter bead, we're gonna do our connection point. And the connection point is going to start doing our little flowers here. So coming out of the 15, I want you to pick up your darker green of your three of your 11 OC beads, then three of the lighter green. And I have here the sparkle green lined light topaz for my darker, and the lighter is the light olive lined crystal. So I have one darker, three lighter on my needle. I'm gonna take my thread and needle back through that first darker 11 0 going from the three millimeter towards the other 11 OC beads. This is going to pull this into a little loop or what is going to appear to be a little leaf on our flower. Pick up another three millimeter bead. Again, 11, three 11s, one with a darker, three with the lighter. Go back through that first 11, starting at the bead and going towards the seed beads. That's gonna pull this into our next petal. And then you're gonna sew back into that first three millimeter bead that our thread was coming out of. That's gonna create a little leaves and that little link to link the two together. From here, go through the first 11-0 in that darker green color, up through that first or that second uh, three millimeter bead. And now we're gonna start over. So coming out this three millimeter bead here, I want you to add a 15, then your three three millimeter beads. After you do that, add a 15, a three, a 15. 
We're going to add three more of our threes. And then after those three more threes, you're going to go ahead and add one fifteen. That finishes up the pattern and you're going back through that first three millimeter bead that your thread is coming out of. That's going to get us our next loop or our next forget me not in order there. And what we're going to do then is go the whole way through part of that loop that you made. You're going through the first 15, the first three beads, the next 15, and coming out through that first three millimeter in between the 15s. Now it's time to add our 60 bead again. So 15, then our 60, then another 15. And the thread is coming out the right hand side of that top three. We're going to go into the right hand side and bring our needle out the left of the bottom three. Make sure that pearl goes to the top so that way all the tops of the flowers are sitting in the middle. Add another 15, go through that same size six bead, out the size six, add a 15, and back through the three millimeter from the left hand side and bringing your needle back out through the right. The needle then will finish exactly where you started to add that three millimeter bead. I'm gonna continue then doing another row of the right angle weave, adding in one of my darker greens, three lighter, going back through that darker green from the bead towards the seed bead to get that nice rounded loop. Add in another three millimeter bead for the side, one darker, three lighter 11s, back through that darker bead to make my little petals, pulling them down nice and tight next to my three millimeter bead, and then sewing back through that three millimeter bead that your thread was originally coming out of. That creates again that connection point and the leaves to sit between our flowers. Go back through the first 11, that darker bead, through your three millimeter bead, and you're ready to repeat. So you're gonna keep repeating your flowers as well as your little petals there in the design as we continue the forget-me-nots. Once you get to the end of your forget-me-nots and you have the length, the size that you want it to, you're going to be adding on your clasp. I'm going to add on a cup button here in the Aztec gold color. I'm gonna bring some of that leaf color, that darker green, that sparkle green lined light topaz for my clasp as well as for um, the loop of the clasp. So coming out through the last three millimeter bead, I'm gonna go ahead and add in three of my 11 OC beads. Then go ahead and grab your clasp, your cup button, whatever you're working with. If you are using a regular um, style clasp, go ahead and grab a uh, wire guard to go with it as well. And you're gonna go up through the back of the button towards the top. When you're coming out the top here, I'm gonna add, again, just three of those green colors back down the other side of the clasp. Coming out the back of the clasp then, go ahead and add three more 11s. And then once you have those three 11s in, you're gonna go back through that three millimeter bead. So instead of adding a whole nother little forget-me-not, this is where we add the clasp and it's added in that same exact style. These three beads here give us enough space to do our loop on the other side. I'm gonna reinforce this clasp, same if you have any other type of metal clasp or depending on what you're using. Go ahead, back up through those seed beads, through the seed beads at the button, down through the other side. You can do this two to three times. I'm gonna then go back through that last three millimeter bead, through the 15, down through some of the side beads here, and I'll knot off this thread further down towards where my green leaves are because then you won't see them, they'll kind of hide in there. So I'm bringing the thread down here and I'll give it two knots and then tie off the end of the thread. On the other side, what we're gonna need to do is go in and add a loop for the clasp. So I will do that too, adding a loop. And here we're gonna do a little surgeon's knot going through the loop once, going through the loop twice. 
I'm giving a nice tight pull and letting that knot kind of disappear in there, making sure that it's not between any beads, that it's not going to loop over any. Once you have that nice knot there, you can take the thread and needle, go down through a couple other beads. And then once I have the thread out to the side here, I will burn off the end of the thread. On the other side, I will do the exact same thing, except instead of adding in a clasp and the button, I'll just make a loop out of the green beads as well. So I'll go ahead and attach a needle, taking off the stop bead. Coming through that three millimeter bead, I'll add about 28 of my 11 OC beads and then knot off that thread to complete the other side of the bracelet as well. So finishing up the other side here, I have all my leaves lined up and I just made a loop again. I used, ended up using 27. And this bracelet here has 11 of the pearls used. So it has 11 of the forget-me-nots and it would comfortably fit about a size seven wrist because it's a little bit big on me. If you have a smaller wrist, about a six and a half, you could get away with doing one less foul hour and be fine too. You can also make the connection point a little bit bigger and spread out your flowers and make more leaves as well. Keep in mind too that if you are doing this video, you can have fun with changing up the designs and changing up the beads. You can use faceted versus smooth rounds, crystals to make it a little bit more blingy, go all white to make it a little bit more formal, and really have fun kind of changing up the patterns, changing up the size of the leaves, and making it your own. As always with all these videos, if you need any materials, we are happy to help. You can search for links below me in the description for potomacbeads.com as well as potomacbeads.eu. You can also join us in our Facebook group for beading and jewelry making, connect with other people there and increase the awesomeness of that beading world that it is. As always, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel and get regular updates from us when we do new tutorials, have new products, and have new things that you should know. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Give a little thumbs up and enjoy your own Forget Me Not flower bracelet.